do this, very sparse backing. The penguins got their name from the Willie the Penguin figure on cool cigarettes. It was, it was a mixed group out of Fremont and Jeff High, and one of the members smoked cool cigarettes. The penguin. Oh, okay. We're running out of names. Bird fruits are hot. Medallions was from a medallion that uh, uh, Vernon Green always wore. Notice the very sparse background. I mean, this went to number eight nationally at a time that black vocal groups were just not happening. I mean, Shaboom ha had happened about, about the same time, but this was, this opened the floodgates, basically. Mercury, um, the penguins were picked up by a, name, a man named Buck Ram who was an old-time songwriter, arranger out of Chicago, who had been in an uh, instrumental trio called The Three Sons, one of their hits being Twilight Time. He took over management of the platters, which were, the platters were flat as platters in the day. They were recording for federal records, and just not happening. So Mercury Records wanted penguins on the strength of Earth Angel. Dootsie wasn't real crazy about the idea. There was a huge split between the Penguins and Dootsie Williams, although they eventually came back. So the condition was Buck Ram ran a very tight ship and told Mercury, you can have the Penguins, but you also have to take the platters. Well, you know the result of that. <laughs> the platters became a top 10, top 5, top, uh, number one group of Only You, Great Pretender, Twilight Time, My Prayer, etc., etc., etc. Penguins never had another hit because, as they put it, every time a new Penguins record came in, the program director in the radio station would say, oh yeah, that reminds me, we've got to start playing Earth Angel again. Yeah. So he wouldn't play, and they re-recorded Earth Angel for Mercury. Didn't do much at all. Was this in 54 as well? This is 54. Please rate that, and hey, Senorita, if you don't mind.